What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a lead code, 30 day lead code challenge. Pretty much after every single one day, I'm going to go over the lead code solution with you guys and explain how to do it. Okay, so the first lead code problem was single number, which is given a non-empty array of integers. Every element appears twice except for one. So we have to find that single one. Okay, so the main issue is trying to do it without extra memory. And your algorithm should have linear time complexity. So based on this first input case, 2, 2, 1, it should output 1. The reason why is because 1 is the only number that is not repeated twice, okay? And the same goes for this one because input 4, 1, 2, 1, 2, the only number that's not repeated twice is 4. So that's why the answer is 4. So... Originally, I did this by using a hash map, which I just added the number of occurrences of every single number, and then I added by one. Then I looped through again through the hash map, and I checked if I find the number of occurrences equal to one, then I return it, right? I return the number that had the first number of occurrences is equal to one. But apparently, you could actually do this really fast, differently, and it actually involves the ability of this operator called XOR, okay? So first I'm going to do is I'm going to create a number called uh, sum. I don't know. Uh, not sum. Uh, to, uh, I don't know. To return. I'll create a number to return. I'm going to set it to zero. Okay, and what am I? Oh, whoops, my bad. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go through every single number of value inside my nums. What am I going to do? I'm going to uh, keep saving it by accident. I'm going to XOR. My to return with my value of uh, value. Then after that, I'm going to return to return. And what does this code do? Well, let's see first if it actually gets past it. Because, yeah, okay, so it got accepted. Okay, so what is exactly does this code do? Well, you have to understand what XOR, the XOR operator does. So this is the operator XOR. So what exactly does the XOR operator do? So for every single bit in XOR, um, the ones that are like, uh, let's see, how do I explain it? I, I have to explain it on paper to explain it to you guys. But So I'll explain XOR in a different video, pretty much like a way more in-depth of XOR. But pretty much in this case, where you have two numbers, right, uh, in and not two numbers, when you have value, every element appears twice except for one, right? So we know that uh, when you, whenever you XOR two numbers, and they're exactly the same number, it's going to amount to zero. Okay, it's going to equal to zero in the end. So if I XOR two and two, it will become zero in the end. Okay. Now the thing is, is that if you XOR any number, let's say two with zero, you get two. Okay, you get the exact same number. If you XOR any number with zero, you get the exact same number. So what happens when I XOR all the numbers in this array, two, two, one? Pretty much any number that got duplicated, two, uh, two, two, right? It'll be if I XOR two and two, it'll become zero, right? And then the remaining number is going to be by itself. So then when I XOR zero with the remaining number that didn't get duplicated, it'll get the same value itself, right? It'll get the same value one. So that that's basically how the XOR operator works in this solution pretty much if you XOR anything with itself right you'll get zero and then if you XOR zero with that number I'll it'll get the same number again so pretty much if I XOR all the numbers here anything that was duplicated will become zero and then I'll be have the leftover number and then I'll XOR zero with that number and then that is just going to repeat uh, that same number it's going to equal to the, the same number the left, the same number as the leftover number, pretty much. So whenever you XOR all the values here, let's say in this value four one two one two, these ones one one would become zero, right? And when I XOR one one, and that'll become zero. And then the bits of uh, this number two and two, that'll become zero. And then I'll be left with zero, right? After all these values got got XORed, I'll be left with zero. And then I know that this number four, because there's no and the other number four, it's not going to be zero, right? It's left over. This number four is left over. So then when I XOR uh, my leftover numbers of zero of after XORing all these zero with four, it'll become four, right? Because any number that's XOR with zero is going to become itself. So that's basically how this XOR number problem works in this problem statement here, pretty much. 
is pretty much just explaining uh, how to use XOR operator. So yeah, that's how you do this solution of simple number in a lead code, the first uh, challenge of single number. I hope you guys understand the solution. I hope I explained it correctly. Pretty much any time you have a duplicate number and you XOR it with itself, right, it'll become zero. And then because we know that all the every element appears twice except for one value, right, that leftover value is not going to have another value. It's not going to be duplicated. So then it'll become zero and then like everything else will become zero and then except for that one value. And when you XOR that number with a zero, that, that leftover one value with zero, it'll get itself. So that's how this solution works. Rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll check you guys later.